Welcome to Bible Minute. I'm Mark. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time that I'm able to pass the word along and to teach people and to help them to see things in the Bible. I ask that you use me, Father, and I praise your holy name. And I thank you for everything you've done for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. Today we're going to be in Revelation chapter 4, verses 8 and 9. I wake up every morning and I sort of pause, look around, thank the Lord for the day. Actually, let me have another day. And while I was doing that, something came over me and I thought, wow, you know, we don't praise Him enough. So it reminded me of Revelation chapter 4, verses 8 and 9, and I'll read them to you. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about them, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And when those beasts gave glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever. Now, I, that, that scripture came to me and I was laying there and I was thinking, wow, we don't thank the Lord and praise him enough. We pray for our food. We say, Lord, please bless our food. Lord, please help me with this problem. Lord, please help me over here. Uh, I need guidance. Lord, please give me this. Lord, please help my grandma. Lord, please help my uncle and aunts whatever i know we we pray and we're always asking him for things and i'm not saying that's not good what i'm saying though is how many times have you just gotten down and praised him and thanked him and give him glory and honor that's what it says here i mean that's what those beasts are doing while i was laying in bed it impressed me enough to where i thought in my own little mind this thought popped in my mind why don't i give them a break and I just started saying it over and over in my mind. And I was like, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And I kept saying it over and over and over and over. And then about two or three minutes, I, uh, and I know that it says, and they rest not day and night. So they're, they're not going to stop because of me. But for my little mind, I was like, I'll give them a quick little break. I, <laughs> I get it, you know. But maybe I was joining in with them because I know I was. If they don't stop, then I was joining them and I was praising the Lord and thanking Him. And I don't, I don't think that we take the time enough to just stop and say, Thank you, Lord. I give you glory and honor, Lord. You know, it, it, and when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks. You know, the Bible says many times we're supposed to give Him thanks all the time. And thank Him for everything. I'm just saying maybe we should pray a little bit differently every once in a while. I mean, a little, instead of just getting in there and saying, Lord, help me with this. Lord, do this. Lord, do that. Lord, please. Lord, why don't we just praise and honor? I, I did that. It, I only think it took me five minutes total. And I felt really good. And then I felt like this... This overwhelming emotion that I should pass this on so that's why I'm passing it on I think that we need to take the time to just stop and praise the Lord in prayer and thank him and let him know that we're just in awe of his awesomeness you know it it's we should do this a lot more than we do and I think that's a problem we're just asking and demanding and crying and whining and all that and I, he wants to help us and he's gonna but what i'm saying is maybe we should take a little time for him i mean after all he's god i mean he's <laughs> he's everything let's give him what he desires i want to give him what he desires i know you should you you personally should want to give him exactly what he wants i mean it and i'm not saying you have to chant this or you have to do this. I'm just saying in your own words, you can say, Lord, thank you for 
Thank you for letting me have another day, Lord. Thank you for, I praise you. I lift your name up on high. You're the King of kings. You're the Holy of holies. However you want to do it, you just praise him and thank him for his son, Jesus. Just praise and honor and glory. Give him his majesty. Just give him all that power that, that he already has. It'll make you feel different. You'll feel better inside. I know I did. It made me feel great. Anyway, I've rambled long enough, as I like to say. I say that a lot. I hope this has been a blessing, and I hope it helps you. I really do. Um, until we meet again, praise Him. Thank Him. That's the Bible Minute, and I'm Mark.